Hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make an actual piece out of our previous tutorial of the stitch that i taught in the previous video so today we're going to learn how to make a maxi skirt that can be paired with a, a pre city top i already have a tutorial of this top by the way uh, so many people are asking for the top and uh, you can get the tutorial i'll be leaving the link in the description box below so that you can give it a try the top also has a written pattern and the skirt has a written pattern as well so if you would like those just check the links in the description box below all the details will be there so for the project we shall need a measuring tape definitely and then a crochet hook which is five millimeter and then a darning needle a pair of scissors and the yarn that we are using is winter king it's a four ply acrylic yarn and i used about seven balls to complete the whole project and each ball of this is 150 yards so i needed about seven balls total to complete the whole project this skirt is going to be worked in two panels this is because we plan on transforming this skirt into an actual dress as you will see later on next week uh, we shall be getting a dress tutorial as well using this same stitch so i decided to take the approach of two panels that are joined together and then uh, shaped into a beautiful skirt like this so let's get started for the purposes of demonstration of the stitch i will be using the orange color so that uh, we can see exactly what's taking place and the moment you get the hang of the stitch we shall switch onto the actual piece which is black that's the order that i received and yeah later on in the video i'll be introducing the actual piece and you'll be seeing how everything works out so you're going to get your crochet hook and start off with a slip knot. And we're going to make a chain. This chain should be a multiple of three plus five chains and should be half your hip measurement. Since we are working the skirt in two panels, that means we have to do two pieces that will be later joined to form the skirt so we are considering half the hip measurement and the hip measurement that i'm considering for this skirt is 40 inches that means each panel should be a length of 40 divided by 2 20 inches so you're going to make a chain a multiple of 3 plus 5 but that chain should be 20 inches which is half our hip measurement I've started with a chain of 71 and this measures half of the hip measurement the hip circumference that we are considering when slightly stretched as you can see when it's not stretched it goes to 17.5 inches but when slightly stretched it can go to 20 inches and when fully stretched it goes beyond 20 inches it's around 22 inches so get a chain that when slightly stretched can get to half your hip measurement and now we're going to start working the stitch. Now you're going to go into the eighth chain from the hook. So you're going to count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And into the eighth chain, you're going to place a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So from here, you're going to make a chain of two, skip over two stitches, two chain stitches, two chains, and then you're going to go into the next chain with a double crochet. So the double crochet that we are using for this tutorial is in the US terms. So chain two, skip over two chains and double crochet into the next chain. Chain two, 
yarn over skip over two stitches and double crochet into the next chain so this is going to create a mesh pattern you're going to repeat this all the way across until you have a total of three chains left on your row and I'll show you what to do from there Now we have a total of three chains left on our row. You're going to make a chain of two, skip over two chains, and then double crochet into the very last chain. So that marks the end of our mesh row. So let's go on to the next row. Row two is make a chain of three, which counts as our very first double crochet. Turn your work. And then you're going to place two double crochets into the chain two space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and then two double crochets into the next chain two space one double crochet into the next double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way across All right, we are almost coming to the end of the row and we are still placing two double crochets in each chain to space and one double crochet in each double crochet. So when you have one space left, which is this one, you're going to go into that space with two double crochets. And then counting from the base, you're going to count one, two, three, four five and into the fifth chain you're going to place one double crochet on the edge just like that so that marks the end of row two now we're going to go back to the mesh row and you're going to start off with a chain of five which counts as a double crochet chain two and then turn your work when you turn your work you're going to skip over the next this chain five is attached to the very first stitch so you're going to skip over the next two stitches and then into the next you're going to place a double crochet and then chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next so you're going to repeat this all the way across chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next So you're going to continue until you have a total of three stitches left on your row and keep in mind that the edge chain three the starting chain three counts as a stitch so we have one two and the chain three on the edge of the row so you're going to make a chain of two skip over the two stitches and on top of the chain three you're going to place one double crochet 
and that marks the end of row three so basically we are repeating two rows we are going to repeat row two and three two and three until we get the length of the panel that we want so that means row four is going to be the same as row two and that means even rows are the same and odd rows are the same the odd rows are the ones that create the mesh pattern and the even rows are the ones that create the block pattern which is made of double crochet stitches all the way across and then the other thing that you have to note you're going to make a chain of three and turn your work so when you're placing these double crochets you place them into the space you don't go into the chains you just go into the chain to space with two double crochets just like that and then go into the next stitch with a double crochet I had to point out that because some people may go into the chains so you just go into the spaces with two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next stitch so you're going to keep repeating rows two and three two and three the mesh row and the block row the mesh row and the block row until uh, you get to your hip bones or just where you want your skirt to end we are working this skirt from the base from the feet all the way up so you're going to get the length of the skirt that you want uh, if you want a short one you can go ahead and do that if you want a long one you can go ahead and do that so uh, do as many rows as you require to get the length you want and make sure you end on a row of double crochet stitches so I'll be back to let you know how many rows that I did for my maxi skirt. All right, guys, I ended up doing a total of 60 rows for the very first panel. Remember, we're working this skirt in two panels. So 60 rows for the very first panel. And I ended on a row of block stitches, the one of double crochets without the mesh pattern. And from here, you're going to make a chain of one. I've already made a chain of one and you're going to cut your yarn. So let's see what we have. We have a length like this. So this is all the way from the feet to your waistline, uh, minus about two inches for the waistband. So just make sure you have this. Uh, do the number of rows um, you require for your particular height from your feet all the way to your waistline minus two inches that will accommodate the waistband so you're going to repeat the same exact process for your second panel as you can see i have two panels here i have this one and this one there are two identical panels as you can see here and now we are going to put everything together so we're going to get one of the panels and put it on top of the second panel just like this and make sure everything is aligned and we're going to join the sides of the two panels so uh, when you finish your second panel don't cut your yarn just leave it attached we're going to use that tail to join the two panels on the side. All right, so the way that we are going to do this, we're going to go into each and every row, placing two single crochets. So go into the very first row on each panel and place two single crochets and then go into the next row which is the mesh row and place two single crochets and repeat that all the way down two two single crochets in each and every row attaching the panels together
so i've just placed my very last two single crochets in the last mesh row at the base of the skirt and from here you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn pull through and then we have two loose ends here so you can just decide to tie them and get rid of them just like this so let's see the right side of the work you should be having something very neat you can see that the seam line is almost invisible it's here and it looks very neat and blends into the pattern very well so we are now going to uh put our work back onto the wrong side and we are going to join the opposite side which is the second seam line on the opposite side of the skirt all the way from up here down to the feet here so grab your yarn and you're going to start off with the very first row attach your yarn and you're going to still make two single crochets in each and every row all the way down All right, guys, we're done with joining the second side and you should be having a tube-like structure for your skirt. Now, after this, you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn and get rid of the loose ends either by tying them or weaving them in using a darning needle. Okay, so you're going to turn your skirt onto the right side because the side where you've worked the single crochet row is the wrong side. We don't want to see this same line. So you're going to just flip it over and turn it onto the right side so that we don't see the same line. We shall see it. It's somewhere here, but it will be much neater on the right side of the skirt. Okay, so this is what you're going to have and now we're going to start creating the waistband of the skirt remember the two inches that we removed from the total length of the skirt those are the two inches that we are going to bring back uh, around the waistband so you're going to grab your yarn make a slip knot and you're going to determine which side is the back side or the front side of the skirt both sides should look the same so i'll just attach in any space in between the stitches just go in any space somewhere and you're going to make a chain of three and start creating front post double crochet into the next stitch and back post double crochet into the next stitch so front post you yarn over go around the post of the next stitch pushing it to the front and then work your double crochet normally and then back post you yarn over go around the post of the stitch pushing it to the back as you can see and then pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so keep alternating between front post and back post double crochet all the way around. So 
So front post, back post. So the front post double crochet pushes the stitch to the front and the back post double crochet pushes the stitch to the back and that is going to start creating a ribbed effect around the waistband of the skirt. So when it comes to the seam line, when you reach that point of the seam line, if you placed a back post double crochet in the previous stitch, that means we are supposed to place a front post. So we are going to uh, consider the seam line as a stitch. So that means the next stitch is supposed to be a front post. So I'm going to yarn over and go around the post of the seam line, creating a front post double crochet, just like that so that we can blend in the seam line into the waistband of the skirt. So continue all the way around, alternating between front and back post, double crochet, and I'll meet you back at the beginning of the round here. All right, so we've come to the end of the round and after your last stitch, you're going to go into the top of the first chain three and make a slip stitch. Now for the very final round, you're going to make a chain of three and make a front post double crochet in each front post double crochet and a back post double crochet in each back post double crochet. So we're still just alternating between the two stitches front post, back post, all the way around. And I'll meet you back at the beginning of the round. At this point, all the stitches are very visible. So you're just going to place a front post in each front post and a back post in each back post double crochet until you come back to the beginning of the round. And this is going to give us a ribbed effect, as you can see here. All right, when you make it all the way around the final round of the waistband, you're going to slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round. Insert your hook and pull through all. And then you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn. Pull through. So this marks the end of the waistband of the skirt. And when we turn it onto the front side, this is exactly what we have. You can see the ribbing of the waistband. So this is the length of the skirt all the way down to the feet. So the next thing that you're going to do is to make a very long chain of about 200 chains. So get your yarn and start off with a slip knot and make a chain of 200 or 250, depending on the length of the drawstring that you want. All right, so we have our 200 chains and when you get the length of the chain that you want, you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn, pull through, and then you fasten off. Now from here, you are going to get your darning needle and you're going to thread your drawstring into the darning needle like this and make sure the front side of the skirt is up. Now we're going to go into the middle round of the waistband into two, two stitches, in and out of every two stitches. And you're going to put our drawstring. This is going to help us gather the waist area since 
uh, when we were creating these panels, we considered hip measurement, not waist. And usually the upper waist is smaller than the hip measurement. So this drawstring is going to help us gather the waist area so that we get the snatched look around the waistline of our skirt and to make the skirt well fitted. So don't forget we are going into the middle round of the waistband the second last round of the waistband that sh that should be the middle round All right, so when you make it all the way around, you can remove your darning needle. And this is what it has created. It has gathered. You can gather the waist area like this so that you get something that is tightly fitted around the waistline. And you're going to cut off the excess yarn from the drawstring. Or you can decide to attach tassels. I already have a tutorial of how to make tassels at the ends of your drawstring and I'll be leaving it on the link in the link on the screen then from here you can just go ahead and tie a knot the next thing that you're going to do is to turn your work onto the wrong side and get rid of all these loose ends if you can tie them together that would be great you just get rid of all the loose ends on your skirt and that's basically it let's see the final look of our skirt